similar price action. I note that there's a pretty key level on the upside that we're keeping an eye on. Yes, there is. Both in the short term and the medium term, there's some key resistance levels. Now, the ASX 200 for seven of the past nine trading sessions has been capped by a, a wall of selling around 66.50 to 66.60ish, which is that red line you can see at the bottom of the right hand side of the chart. Above that, of course, if it was to break, then you have that yellow band of resistance, which was the range lows, which held for about nine months. So what I'm looking for is the ASX 200 to initially get above that 66.60 area, which it's kind of flirting with at the moment and potentially push up towards the top of that resistance band. I don't think it's going to break back above there. So in that sense, the risks remain to the downside with the proviso that if we were to get above 69.50 on a sustained basis, you could say that the technical damage which we saw during that sell-off in June has been erased and potentially we look towards a stronger second half of 2022. Okay, and the Aussie dollar, uh, also one that continues to grind lower, clearly global market sentiment, not particularly strong and the Aussie reflecting that too. Uh, the technicals are, are telling you what in terms of the Aussie's trend right now. Right. Well, we saw a loss of momentum uh, in the middle of last week after the red hot US inflation data. The Aussie pushed to a two, a new two year low down at 66.81. And then a recovery started into the end of the week. By Friday, it took out the top of that reversal candle, which is in a place at that 66.81 low. So that signifies a loss of momentum to the downside. Now, it's not the first time we've seen these types of loss of momentum candles. At this point of time, it's only a short term warning that, hey, listen, the selling has been exhausted for this point of time. So what I'm looking for is for the Aussie to push back up towards a couple of resistance areas where I'd expect to see better two-way price action unfold, i.e. sellers emerge. Somewhere up towards 68.30 to 68.50 is the first level. And then there is medium term, a, a wall of very solid resistance sitting just below 70 cents. Now, while the Aussie stays below 70 cents, the risks are to the downside. However, if the Aussie, as we like to keep uh, in in the back of our minds with trading, we need to know where we're wrong or where the trend may have changed. And for me, that would be a sustained break back above 70 cents.